digital effects found on the Arshuria Mini Freak, and now we're going to cover Peak EQ. There it is, Peak EQ. Okay, so Peak EQ is uh, great for creating boosts at particular frequencies, and unlike the three band EQ, where, where you have three different bands of the entirety of the frequencies that you can push up or push down, uh, the Peak allows you to sort of decide where that peak in the EQ frequency is going to be, allowing you to fine tune various aspects of the harmonic content of your sound by adjusting uh, the amplitude of certain bands of frequency and adjusting the width of that peak of amplitude. So here we go, we're gonna dive in. So this would be great if you wanted to remove certain frequencies or boost certain frequencies in your sound. Okay, so we have the time knob, which actually controls the frequency you want to boost or diminish. And uh, the frequency range on this runs from Thirty hertz to fifteen thousand hertz, so that gives you sort of the range, and the frequency just uh, lets you know the frequency is the point at which you're going to be changing. I'm standing on something irritating. Okay. Now, right now, you can see me changing the frequency, and nothing is happening. And why is that? It's because our gain is at zero, which means <laughs> nothing's being boosted or diminished. So uh, in order to, to experience this, we're gonna have to turn up or turn down uh, the gain. So let's uh, start by dipping the gain way the heck down. Now we've already lost some sound because now we're diminishing the frequencies. at the frequency point that we're currently at. So now when we change the frequency, we'll be able to hear what frequencies are being removed. So basically what we have right now is a notch filter. We've created our own notch filter, but you get to decide the depth of the notch and, uh, and the frequency. So voltage controlling these two knobs simultaneously can allow you to go in and take out a certain frequency at a certain point or take out multiple different frequencies or have something like sample and hold causing it to bounce around ripping out sets of frequency, bands of frequency. So we can also boost. So I've been moving it this whole time, but you can stop it at various places and you'll get all kinds of different timbres. And it's so often that synthesizers in their entirety have pretty much this amount of functionality. If you have a really simple synthesizer with a really simple filter, like just doing something with the filter is the only way you're gonna get a new timbre. And that's basically what's happening here. But of course you have all of this other functionality to deal with. So it's just another benefit that you have. Right here, we're boosting the bass, which will make all of your analog sounds sound more analog-y. And there is one thing we have not talked about yet. This is the amount knob, which is the width of the band of frequencies that are affected by the attenuation or amplification. It's over here, so. As we make that bandwidth wider, the differences are going to be less notable, noticeable in certain ways. So now, you can hear that weird thing in the background, but like because the band is so wide, 
the amplification isn't as evident and it's just resulting in certain frequencies being sounding different. If we let's diminish everything and hear the difference there. Oh Lord. Overall, it's not very noticeable. But there are some differences. Most notably, or noticeably, both of those things. You can hear that there is a difference, even though the the band is very wide, uh, by changing the frequency. And I mean, basically, we're creating kind of a little like phase effect, or chorusing, or yeah, that sort of sound. So uh, having the the band less wide, especially not wide at all, is where you're going to get the most effect. But you have that opportunity because who knows what what frequencies you are going to want to uh, attenuate or boost. So you have that opportunity. This is a, a much more precise means of addressing a specific harmonic situation, whereas the three band is just helping you choose parts of your sound to boost or diminish. It's kind of the similar thing, but different purposes. So... That is basically our peak EQ. There are no subtypes available for that. Okay, so that is the peak EQ found on the Archuria Mini Freak.